In this example data set we have three variables d1, d2, d9, each of which has 50 values. d1 is a set of interval data randomly chosen from a normal distribution with a mean of 7 and a standard deviation of 0.5. d2 is a set of categorical data where each category is an abbreviation for answers to a question in a questionnaire. Strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, strongly disagree. D9 is a set of integer frequency values. To display these statistics, we start with analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives. And we will choose the variable D1 in this case. And selecting options, we can print out a range of different statistics. We can select mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. We we'll also include kurtosis and skewness. Continue. OK. The results for D1 show n equals 50 values. The sample mean was 7.03, which is consistent with the population mean of 7 from which the data was drawn. And similarly, the sample standard deviation is 0.495, consistent with the 0.5 standard deviation of the population. The statistics for skewness and kurtosis are both less than the standard error for each of these measurements. So there is no significant difference from a skewness value of zero and kurtosis, which is consistent with a normal distribution. We can get a greater range of display statistics for D1 by using Analyze Descriptive Statistics Explore. Again, D1 is our dependent list, and we can choose different numerical parameters under statistics but we will use the default descriptive set available. We can choose to do different plots. We will plot stem and leaf diagram, a histogram, and a normality plot with tests. OK. We get the similar statistics as before for the sample mean and standard error. The standard error is equal to the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of measurements. So this is 0.5 divided by the square root of 50, which gives the value here of 0 0.06995. We get the median, variance, etc., maximum and minimum values, and again, the values of skewness and kurtosis. The tests for normality, doing the Kolmogorov, Smirnoff and the Shapiro-Wilk test, both give p-values which are greater than 0.05, showing there is no evidence that the sample was drawn from a population that was not a normal distribution. We have a histogram of the values. If we wish to edit this graph, we would double click on the graph. We can now edit the histogram. We could click on the axis labels to change font size and number format, for example. We could also click on the body of the histogram and this will allow us to change the binning of the data. So we could choose custom and decide that we want nine bin in the data and apply. So we can customize the histogram as we like. We also have a stem and leaf plot and also the normality plot. On the no normality plot, plots each observed value against the expected value that it should have if it was if the data was truly normal as shown by this diagonal line and as we can see the data values lie closely with this line suggesting that it is indeed a normal distribution we also have a box and whisker plot again showing a fairly even distribution about a median value of 7. For the categorical data D2 and the frequency data D9, it might be useful to use Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and we will select both D2 and D9. 
Again, we have fairly standard statistics and we can calculate the median, quartiles and continue. And then under charts, we could select bar charts, pie charts, histograms. So we'll start with a bar chart and OK. Under statistics for D9, we get the median value of 6 and the upper and lower quartiles, 8 and 4. And for D2, we get the frequencies of observations of the individual categories in the data. And we get a bar chart for D2. But the categories have been ordered alphabetically. And we may wish to change the order of these to make it uh, more useful in displaying the range of answers. So we will double click on the graph and then right click on the bars to open the relevant properties window. And this enables us to change the order in which they occur. So we will put strongly disagree to the top, then disagree, then neutral, and then agree, strongly agree. And then we click apply and close. And then we have the bar chart in a realistic order from strongly disagree to strongly agree. In summary then, the descriptive statistics can be accessed through descriptives, which gives the main numerical statistics frequencies which adds additional data plots or explore which gives greater flexibility for both statistics and charts with the ability to split the data on the basis of factors within the data sample.